Welcome back to Control. Off screen, I did a couple of things, because I felt like playing a little bit, but I didn't want to record, so I just did some stuff that wasn't too important and didn't need to be shown. Um, I did some more of those uh, board countermeasures, I think they're called. Seem to be just randomly generated. They just give you a random gun mod or personal mod. So, nothing too fancy. With that, just did that, killed a bunch, got some mods. I also processed, um, like, what do they call it? Deconstructed. I deconstructed most of the ones. Well, actually, I think all, pretty much all the ones that were level one. Only keeping the level two stuff. I think I also accidentally switched this for the grip to the plus 15% damage and then deconstructed what I used to have in there, so oops. <laughs> But yeah, a lot more room for mods now. The second thing I did was really fun. I was trying to test the limits of where can I get to. Because we have the ability to do this. That gives us a lot of room to maneuver. So I wanted to see if I could get up here. Because there's no normal way to get up there. And it really seems like you're not intended to get up there at least yet. I'm guessing something in the future will happen that gets you up there, because there is stuff up there. But, it doesn't seem like you're meant to get there yet, and I found a way. So I want to... Ah. I want to show you how I did it. I was really proud of myself. No, I fell off! Well, I almost got all the way. Um, I might be able to do it from here, possibly. Yeah, you totally can. I got there from the pipe, but I guess you can also do it that way. And then there you go. And then you're up here. <laughs> I felt so clever for doing that. So I explored around a bit, making sure that, you know, I wasn't doing anything that I should do on camera, and it, this place was mostly empty. It feels like I got to a place that you're not intended to get to yet, so like most of the scripts that might trigger don't. So it's kind of like weirdly empty. I did find a couple canisters with some mods, nothing fancy. But the big thing I found is there's all these pathways that take you to areas on the side, and I found one that led to a place with a control point. I just went the wrong way. Mm, I think we gotta get up one more level. Make that another level. Okay, yeah, I got to here and a bunch of enemies spawned just like that. Looks like they spawned again. fun place to fight. Right, such a choke point is really, really easy to kill him. Uh, yeah, so I made my way here, and then there's a control point over here. I took it, and then that was it. I figured, man, I, there's a lot here. I shouldn't explore any further. Do I have any to turn in? Oh, I do. Ritual impulse. Nice. Let's take another one, then. Kill his elevated. Let's take that. 
Yeah, this door here requires security clearance five. I didn't find a way to get up to those higher points. Yeah, I don't know how I could do it. Maybe I can't. But there are a lot of these little spindles that come off from this main thing, like that one there that leads over to Blackrock Quarry area. I don't know if I should be exploring here. I can get up here easily now that I have that teleport point over there. But I'm probably not supposed to be here yet, right? I'm going to poke my nose just a little bit more this way, just see if I find anything. Okay, that's security level five. Ooh. Yeah, like, we're probably going to come here later, much later, I think. Um, oh, yeah, while I was looking around, I also found a couple new documents. So that's actually, I think, the third document that I've found. Let me read them all. Fan Supplement. The Oscillator. Extract from formal interdepartmental complaint. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region, since foreign investigator or something met with a local journalist to explain how electric fans operate at speeds that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient, yes, yet vague rationale that will reaffirm their certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must trade carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with the radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department handle all communication with public bodies. With all due respect, William S. Powers, head of the Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions. NSC. The um, dynamic energy extraction and conversion. Something sarcophagus container. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trench shortly before he became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of something's excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then conducted to the converters, where it's rendered into a something through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making us completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC-01's disappearance by some unknown manifestation of something's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. Right. So, inside of the sarcophagus generating the power is a him. Also, I'm just creeped out by anything that generates power and has something around it called a sarcophagus, because the only thing that brings to mind is the sarcophagus around Chernobyl right now. Uh, there was another one that, for some reason, isn't marked as new. Ah, it's this in correspondence. Agent Death Notification. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against our enemies. Her enemies, rather. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. Whole message is all a load of bullshit.
Oh, something cool I discovered, by the way, about the dash ability is that it can cancel fall damage. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Let's fix the NSC energy converters, which we were already in the area to do, and I just didn't know what to do at the time, so let's just use a teleport point to get over there. Oh, uh, hold on. Do I have the stuff to get some more weapon forms? I can upgrade, and I can construct the spin. Spin has a generous magazine and high rate of fire, best used in controlled bursts. That sounds really cool. I want that. Heck yeah. No, I can't afford to upgrade the grip, but it's okay. It sounds kind of just better than the grip, but there's no way it is. Like, it can't just be strictly better, because then there'd be no point in upgrading the grip. Well, let's toss out the grip for now. Replace it with a spin. Do I have anything to put in there? I do. Accuracy plus 13%. Rate of fire plus 23%. Whoa. Rate of fire sounds nice. But of course, rate of fire doesn't matter if you can't hit anything. If I'm up close, I'm going to use shatter, so accuracy matters too. Energy plus 7%. Yeah, right now I'm using energy recovery speed plus 21%, which I think I got off camera from one of the missions. Or maybe dropped by an enemy, I'm not sure. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it's just straight up... Uh, it's just an automatic, like... Kind of like an Uzi, almost. Like, it doesn't feel very powerful, but it shoots really fast. Yeah, it gets dramatically more inaccurate as you continue to fire. Oh, and the spinning things around it represent the accuracy as well. They get further away. That's cool. So yeah, in short bursts. How accurate is that? Yeah, you can't do single shots and keep it accurate. It still continues to get inaccurate. That basically means you can't use it as an equivalent to the grip. It's not like you can just do single shots if you wanted to. This thing sits somewhere in between the grip and the shatter with accuracy. It's not going to be great from a really long distance, from, but from a moderate distance, I think it'll be okay. But because the accuracy is such a problem, I think I should put in the accuracy mod. That does feel noticeably better. So we're going to head to... Which was the one we needed to do? Energy converters. Yes, I think the thing I was missing is... Oh. Uh, I didn't do that. I guess they did it for me. Because I completed the other one, they put the energy cube here. But yeah, I didn't realize that I could put energy cubes here back when I first came here. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old thick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can't shoot through the grate, right? So I'm safe. From underneath. Yeah, this is going to be terrible from here, right? Eh, maybe not. I just don't know if it's better than the grip. I feel like the grip kills enemies faster. So let's compare that to grip. I definitely prefer the grip. Oh damn, I'm really hurt. the animations are so great aren't they I want to know how I get up there I bet I can probably from those wires actually maybe how do I get to the wires so many possibilities Not yet. So, nothing down there. I 
do want to see if I can get to those wires. Just need to get up higher on something. That's not high enough, though. Um, oh, might be able to do it if I somehow stay on top of this. Is that possible? Whoa! Oh god. Fucking hell. That's scary. Okay, that can totally be done. I just went too far. Ah, oh, damn. Two boosts kinda goes too far. But I can't do one boost, because then it wouldn't go far enough. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is as far as we can go. That's not gonna get us up there. Is there something else we could go to from here? I could get on there, but what would be the point? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. Wait, am I actually going... I'm actually going further up, aren't I? Just by jumping. Okay. Oh, this is just going to be where the control room goes, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is. What do you bet? Let's go check. Yep, control room. Okay. <laughs> I just found a very complicated way to get somewhere that's very easy to get to. Or... Wait. Maybe not. The door was locked for a second. Now it unlocked when I got near it. Maybe it would have been locked if I tried to come at it from the other way. Oh no, that's not where the door goes. That door that went to the control room, that doesn't lead here. This is a place we've already been to. It's just like a shortcut. Interesting. No... Oh. What? <laughs> Why? Why was it red and now it's green? Ah, scary level 5. Black Rock Quarry. Everything with Black Rock Quarry in it, it's level 5. somewhere I've been before? Now I'm kind of scared if I'm going areas I shouldn't be that I'm going to break something. But it is exciting, isn't it? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Level 5, yep. Okay.
Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish, still on a fucking winning streak, so and please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson, suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepstone Stall's turn. What kind of plant is that? Where even are we on this map? I mean, I see our thing, but like, we're not actually in a room according to the map. what we came here to do. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you. But they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach. And the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Who's got paper on their desk? Somebody does, I know it. I should probably lift the override, huh? Lift the override? Lift the lockdown with the override. 
I wonder if we could now afford the upgrade for the grip. Yes, we can. Sweet. Increases the base weapon damage, gives us another slot. Yeah, so... Oh, I might not have anything else to put in here. I do. Damage against enemy armor plus 60%. Hmm. That's a huge damage increase. I don't actually use it like that very often, though, because usually if someone has armor, I use telekinetic. Telekinesis. What if it looks any different? No, looks the same. I wonder if all hell is going to break loose when we do this. Oh, we went to the end of that hallway and the door was there and it just didn't do anything. Wouldn't respond to us, now it's open. Looks like so That's much it. has changed. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Every time... Every time... Jesse talks to... Us. We see that little, like, thing over the screen. That little, like, effect. Does that mean something in particular? I can just rip these panels off. What's in there? It's computer parts. Makes sense. Wait, is this how we got into this place? No, we came in from the bottom floor, so where... Where exactly is this? Oh, now we actually are on the map. Sector elevator this way. Oh, we got in here by shooting the glass, but now we can just straight up open it. level five. Oh wait, but that's the place we can get in through the glass again. Am I smart enough now to find a way in there? Yes, I just did actually. Oh, that's not going to get me there. So I've already tried from over there. That's a bit better. I still don't think we have enough height. Hmm. I was hoping to grab onto that little pipe, but I guess I can't. I'm gonna try to knock out the railing. Thanks. Can't be done. Who am I kidding? It can be done. Oh, you can dash in midair while you're holding something? Hell yeah. Although it doesn't regenerate, so gotta be pretty careful. 
That alone is probably enough. <laughs> what? You totally could have grabbed that, Jesse. There we go. Yes. Boop. Fan procedures. Oh, it's an altered item. Uh, per archival mandate A.A. .A. Uh, 8.a. This document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. Containment procedure. Water placed on the item prevents it from exercising its thaumaturgical, uh, thaumaturgical force contained in possessed object gallery. In a uh, description of the altered effect, it's a the oscillator brand electric standing fan with protective grill. The item in question robs the immediate vicinity of all oxygen. The range seems to be variable. Background. While on assignment in Korea, foreign investigator something learned of odd fatalities in the area. Visited the site of the most recent death. Superstitious locals blamed the electric fan. They seized the fan and placed it in a small room. The something, the something suffocated. The investigator booked two cabins on the SS... One for himself and one for the fan. That's super cool, because yeah, in Korea there is an urban legend that fans can can kill you if you like leave them on during the night, I think is how it goes. So that combined with the fact that we know that urban legends have the power to influence altered items and altered world events, just by I guess a bunch of people believing them, like some sort of thought force influences these objects to some degree, something like that. So between the urban legend and this object and how we know that urban legends can influence objects, it totally makes sense that this would exist. Alternatively, I guess you could read this as maybe this fan is the thing that created the, the urban legend in the first place. I don't, I don't think that's it though. Dodge efficiency. Evade energy cost of minus 12%. Hmm. What's more important? I think energy recovery speed in general being plus 21% is better. Evade energy cost only affects evade but energy recovery speed affects evade as well as telekinesis. Oh, I don't have the clearance. Oh, heck. Look at how cool that is. All those pipes going up there. This place feels unreal. Everything's open. All the sectors. Well, we're gonna going back to talk to Emily, so executive. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen. Here? Well, we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring in an observation unit from the containment sector. I'll put in a request with Pope. Still no more outfits. Give us another outfit. All right, you can construct mods. No thanks. We have one ability point. Nothing to spend on. To Emily. I heard the hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? 
Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it, but around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron Resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Whoa, it's on a time limit. Maintenance, major targets, go to the NSC energy converters. 
Um, I got a bit of time. Is there anything to talk about? Hi, Jesse. No. See you soon. Be careful out there. I heard the just attacked the power plant. So what do we get? We got a bunch of stuff. Launch energy cost minus seven percent. No thanks. Doesn't say much. Just go to the energy converters. Old boys club. Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. All right, we still need to investigate the training course. I wonder if I should be able to do that now, because I couldn't do anything with it before. Well, let's go to the energy converters. Uh, also, I have five ability points. It would be really cool to be able to launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. I think I want that. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Imagine how sad it would be to be the beings considered basic. They're like literally basic bitches. Hmm. Let's get more energy. One more point and I'll get an additional personal mod slot. Eliminate key his targets. Oops. Pulled the energy cube off of there. Damn. Shit, I got like no health. Holy crap. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, I failed the bureau alert. Does that mean I don't get to retry it? Shit. That melee attack from that named enemy hurts so bad. Can I do it? No, I really did fail it. No. What would it have done? Hmm. Let's investigate the training course. Oh. Hotline. No 
What's the closest one I have to central maintenance? Actually, no, I think just from the power plant floor, huh? Yeah, should be over here. Central maintenance? Yeah, central maintenance. Oh god. See, it's still through there, and I still cannot get in there. But, uh, maybe there's some alternative way? Oh, the sector elevator. This is now open. I don't see why that would actually help, though. No, why would that help? Wait, you can shoot those? I did not realize that. Aha! Uh -huh. 